Today we're gonna take a look at Texture Stamps, an add-on by Light Architect, the developer of the popular board system add-on called Spiderfy and the VFX add-on Chaos. Texture Stamps is a powerful tool that allows you to add extra details to your models by non-destructively wrapping textures around your desired objects. If you are familiar with decals, especially in game development, this should make you feel right at home. The add-on comes with 100 plus texture stamps created from both real photos and digitally generated images. It also has a really intuitive user interface and provides non-procedural details to hard surface models. All the assets are optimized for both Cycles and EV, and it can be useful for filmmakers, VFX artists, and 3D artists in general. The add-on offers three licenses, a single user license and two studio licenses for 5 and 15 seats. However, the licenses include free updates and future texture stamps. After installing the add-on, you can find it in the end panel of your 3D viewport. The interface is really simple. You just need to select the object you want to work on, and you can do that from the drop-down menu, or you can use the undropper tool. Choose a decal that you like from the long list above, because there is a lot to choose from, and you have almost anything you will ever need and more. You can pick one from the categories such as broken glass, concrete, grunge, dirt map, cracks, signs, graffiti, nature, signs and street symbols, wood damage, splashes, and more. And within these, you have different decal images to choose from. Select your desired image and hit add decal. The add-on will add a decal with the shrink wrap modifier applied to it. This is the case so you can move it around and position it correctly. Also, you can scale it and rotate it however you want. The alpha decal textures are extremely detailed and very light, so you can stack as much as you want on top of each other. Once you add the decal, you can easily adjust the decal configurations, like moving it by using the move decal button, or you can show the high texture space box. But the one I really find useful is the offset control. You can use these to offset decal distance from the object surface, and sometimes you might feel like your decal planes are Z fighting. In simple terms, that's one two 3D primitive surfaces having the same distance from the camera, making them glitch in and out to appear above each other. All you need to do is to use the two buttons more offset, and less offset to adjust the distance between the decal image and the object surface, or you can just input the value manually. Similarly, you can jump to the modifier tab and adjust the shrink wrap modifier from there. Now, one might ask, can't we do this in Blender? And the answer is yes, you can. But texture stamps makes the process really easy and actually fun. Instead of looking up textures and turning them into PNGs and then importing them one by one into Blender, the add on curates a huge library of image alpha planes, grunges, signs, and more for you to use with one click. This will save you so much time working on your next project, whether it is matte painting or just hard surface modeling. If this is the case, then texture stamps will help you a lot. The developers are also promising to expand the library even more in the future with the coming updates and these updates are gonna be free if you have the add-on. Additionally, they are offering a bundle called the Ultimate Value Pack, which is a collection of the top 4 add-ons for Blender, which are City Blender 3D, Chaos, Cable Cam, and Light Architect. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.